some extra brake line. We might want to save that. Oh, hey! Good afternoon, Ice Cream Ninja Nation. I'm your host, Fat Boy Jim, with another All In Ice Cream exclusive. That's right, folks. We're uh, keep your eye out for receipts too. This is a salvage car, by the way, uh, and yeah, we're back on it. Uh, and that's the thing about doing these projects. Uh, what you plan to do never gets done. Is that a receipt? No, it's just a piece of paper labeled listing all everything we bought. Oh, okay. We'll just throw that away then. Uh, <laughs> it never goes according to plan. You can ask my brother. Uh, nothing ever, ever, ever goes according to plan. So, today, whereas we thought we was just going to do originally, do some body work, throw a battery in it, clean the fuel system, fire it up, have a good car. Well, about... $1,500 later in brake parts, alternators, air conditioned pumps, tune up stuff. Uh, walk with me over this way and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. I'm just going to hand this stuff off to you. That must be a passenger side. I don't know. Passenger side. Actually, no, it might be the okay. passenger. Let's lay this in the trunk and I'll show you. In case you don't know what these are, right there's a shot of it. Brand new axles. Driver and passenger. Uh, of course, when we did the brakes, we realized it needs axles. No figure. Uh, every time we touch something on this car, but the good news is. When we have the car inspected, I'll take that for seat. Uh, when, when we have the car inspected, uh, if you ever do salvage cars, save your receipts. Save all your receipts. Because the Highway Patrol in Ohio actually does the inspections, okay? Uh, walk with me over here to Old Willie. <coughs> oh, other side. That's camera gear. And, Bubby, I got all kinds of stuff. We'll show them the parts as we uh, kind of dig them out. Yeah, they're both, they're both the same. Boots. Uh, is that the right boots? Yeah. Okay. Like it. Yeah, there's some clamps in there. I don't know if you can see in there. Comes with the clamps. Uh, so we got boots. Boot scooters. Yeah. You got an air intake sleeve. We got new fuel filter, which we still want to get all the fuel out of there. Spark plugs. What do we get here? V power, NGK. Okay. Well, that's what called for the NGKs. Does it? Yeah, Toyota's. Okay, I didn't know. And I ordered inner and outer tie rods, but this is what they sent me. That's an outer. Okay, and I got the other ones too. Show that to the camera. I don't know if you guys can see it still in the package here, but it's kind of hard to. It's not like a typical tie rod, though, really. It is. At least not what I'm used to on my old Chevys and stuff. Well, you gotta think this car's small, so everything's small. Huh. Okay. A couple of those. Well, yeah, it don't it. matter. Just stuffed over there. Yeah. Now. All right, we're working through the pile here, guys. Let's see. What do we got here? Huh? Huh? This is one of my favorite parts. I spoke on it in another video. So, this plugs in. Mm hmm. And then this has a wire that jumps over to the second plug. So whereas Willie has six ignition coils, one per cylinder, yeah, eight, eight ignition coils, one per cylinder, which he's a road beast. This has three coils, uh, one per two cylinders. But uh, it, it works with Toyotas, uh, so we're just going to go with that. 
I don't know. Too. Lexus Toyota. Here, I got two more for you. And uh, I got the good ones. Made in China. <laughs> okay. I did get us a racing air filter. I didn't go with the uh, cold air. Cold air. I did replace the one rubber hose and a drop in Spectre filter. Comparable to K&N, a lot cheaper. Uh, now let's just get it out here. Let's see. Does that look right? Mm -hmm. The boot sits right here and then clamps onto the uh, rack and pinion. B40. Huh. That's got a mark on it too. I wonder what that's for. Uh, it don't matter. A couple of those. Now just a tip, if you ever do an out of tie rod, usually oh, you want to oh, do oh, the inner. There's a washer. You may need that. Yeah, may. Okay, and last but not least, our fancy red spark plugs to match the red fender that we're going to paint the blue. Uh, <laughs> and that should be it for uh, Santa Claus today. We'll take another look here just to make sure. What's this? Okay, that's nothing. Yeah, uh, so we'll have to come over here and another $300 pile of parts, all maintenance. That's just all maintenance parts. Uh, we may film some of it going on. We may not. We may just show you the, the final product. Uh, but that's where we're at with this. And, uh, what I do with the keys, make sure I'm locking in. Okay. <laughs> and uh, we also, uh, we had a family emergency, so we had to, and that's the other thing about project cars. Uh, when you're working on multiple projects at once, uh, sometimes uh, you lack parts that you need, and it's going to take too long to ship them. So you start scalping parts off other cars. <laughs> we won't mention no names. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> we, uh, in the process, and this is a, a good DIY tip. You correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, the alternator went bad, which in turn made the battery go bad. Mm -hmm. So, uh, now this, this had a brand new <coughs> alternator and a brand new battery but because of the door switch we killed the battery too many times uh two or three times i think we killed it completely zeroed it out and that was enough to kill the battery period so we're gonna have to exchange the battery we've got a guarantee on that uh and get another alternator ordered in the good thing a lot of these toyotas if you like toyotas uh, a lot of the parts interchange. They do. And they run forever. So even though it seems like I'm really griping about all the parts that I'm putting into this car, uh, I'm really not griping because at the end of the day, this is to be a, a daily driver uh, to travel two hours one way, two hours back, uh, and save a lot of gas. So we want to keep it somewhat right, although we don't do everything right. Yeah, at least I don't. Nick likes to do stuff right. I am the king of redneck engineering. Okay, if you can't use self tappers, duct tape, vice grips, clamps, glue, okay, then you're not really working. Uh, so that's where we're at with all this. And uh, I got some body work ahead of me. We'll get that battery exchanged to get a new alternator ordered. We got Labor Day coming up. And uh, we'll probably be on the ice cream truck. This is Saturday as we do videos. Just so you guys know, we post them the day of. We don't sit on them for three, four days. If you see this video today as it's released, know that it happened today, like the news. 
okay? You can re-watch the news, 6 o'clock news, 10 p.m. It's a rerun, but it happened today. Uh, with that, uh, like, share, subscribe. They say that helps the algorithm. Uh, let us know how we're doing out here. We just wanted to keep you in the loop. And uh, be sure to keep coming back and check out YouTube's worst channel on YouTube. The most horrible channel on YouTube. If we can't mess it up, nobody can. With that, you guys have a great day. Happy Labor Day weekend. Have your cookouts. Be safe. Don't catch the grills on fire or Uncle Earl. Uh, and have a great day. So it was a good thing that uh, they do interchange like they do. Oh, hey! Ice Cream Ninja Nation! It's Fat Boy Jim and Ninja Nick again. A uh, little bonus footage for you guys. Uh, we're trying to learn new editing skills, so we thought we'd throw something on the tail end to see if you guys are really watching the videos. Uh, come on in. Uh, like I was explaining the first part of the video, uh, we had an emergency where we had to scalp some parts. Just thank goodness we had a Toyota on hand to do so. Let me check all them vacuum lines to... Sure. Last time we ran it, I didn't hear no vacuuming hissing, so... No, but it's still good to stay on top of it. But what you see missing is the alternator. Now, keep in mind, this is a 2002 Solera. And this is what I like about Toyotas. This is a 1996. Five. 95 correct me i'm staying corrected 1995 toyota the fans are the same the alternator obviously is the same the motor is the same literally uh, everything you see is pretty much the same. yeah i mean as you go through oh yeah speaking of which uh here here sometime today or tomorrow i don't know uh we got that lexus coming in too and it's going to be the the same <laughs> probably <laughs> literally like it's an 06 so like i said we'll have Toyota? a 95 an 02 and an 06 uh, it's a customer's car but uh what's that go to uh, it's cruise control oh okay, okay but it's okay. broke uh where's it broke at it's broke somewhere here. see your throttle set up different than mine right here this is broke off of this it's supposed to be connected here but it won't connect it's been broke off, so. Why don't you glue it? You can't glue it. It's what's the turn? You glue it. Weld it. JB, weld it. Where's it go at? Right there on the end of that. Somehow. Huh. I don't know exactly how, but it does go on there somehow. It's got a stopper. Mm-hmm. So we're going to say it goes like that. I don't know, but I know that's the reason I have it unplugged is so nobody activates it and it messes up anything. Huh. Yeah, I think that goes just like that. But it doesn't seem to affect the running of it, so. Yeah, I'll just keep that down out of the way, I guess, away from that throttle. But if we took that cover off, you'd see that she, uh, this car has the exact same. Really? Huh. Yeah. <laughs> low on oil. Should be that low. It's low. Well, I need to add another quart then. Yeah, it's got a few miles left in it. Do the old taste test. But as you look at the motors, you'll see that they're similar. If I actually had, took the time to pull it up next to it, you would see that they literally, you could probably take this engine right out of this car and brought it in that one if you really want. Yeah. And vice yeah. versa. Yeah, I agree. I completely agree. Like even the plugins are the same on most of the OEMs. I, I don't see nothing no different except the position of the throttle. Uh, no, actually, no. That's the whole. There's a throttle. That's the throttle. That ain't the throttle. Oh, I was looking at this as the. That's throttle. the cruise control. <laughs> that whole unit. That's the cruise control there. Oh, so the throttle's even the same. Yeah. I'll be doggone. There's literally no difference between them. I think your cruise control is set put somewhere else, but. It probably looks just like that. Uh, another thing I want to get sewed up to here soon is uh, we'll take some green scrubbies and the power washer, do a couple repairs, and uh, get blue shot. Get him shot white. 
and we'll do the uh, turbo can little little preview. We're going to turbo spray this thing. Actually, no, it's sitting right there. The freeze? Yeah, this is the cruise control right here. Oh, it's just got the covers on. Yeah, it's just got a cover. That's okay. Which you need to pop it. You got to pop it. You probably see it's the exact same as that one over there. Nope, it's different. That's a surprise. I'll be darned. Hmm. Who would have guessed? Wow. It does have a difference. <laughs> the cruise control. That's okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <coughs> while we're at it, should we pull this battery? It's just sitting in there. It ain't bolted down or nothing. And you say uh, Rural King didn't give you no issue, huh? Nope. You can go right up to the customer service. So we're going to get that exchanged. Because God knows that battery won't hold a charge for nothing. Nope. But that's okay. That's fine. It has a guarantee. Yes, another thing. They still have 60-month limits of warranties on them. Even that past the year. Because they got a one-year free replacement. Now, what that means is, however much of that 60-month warranty that has left, they will refund that portion of your money to get you a new battery. So like for instance, I had to go buy a battery yesterday. I got $21 back for having just over two years back. $21, huh? $21. What'd you spend it on? On a new battery, what do you think? Oh, that's a hell of a deal then. I mean, yeah, wow. it sounds like I'm getting cheated, but I only paid $60 for the battery. Rural King, we're not sponsored either. No. But that's where you get your batteries, brand new. Yeah, brand new and not much more uh, expensive than a refurbished one from a junkyard or something. <laughs> All right, well, I just want to throw a little bonus coverage in there for you guys and see what our editing skills turn out like. Uh, I'm trying to not be so much of a caveman anymore, but we'll see how that goes, folks. We'll see how it goes. With that, like, share, and subscribe. Let us know how our video is with the new editing. Hopefully this turns out. And y'all have a great Labor Day. See y'all later.